So Jackie is the third movie in what I'm calling my most depressing movie marathon of all time. Jackie is the movie about Jackie Kennedy, and it is what happens to her after the events of the assassination, can't talk, of her husband, John F. Kennedy. Wow, is this movie a little bit depressing. Third one, and in, in, in the same night, oh my gosh, this was a hard night. Uh, another movie that I had some moments where I was, I wasn't bawling my eyes out in this one, but I was definitely weeping a little bit. Hard movie to watch once again. Uh, let's start with the performance with form, performances in this movie. Uh, the big one that stands out and the one that got nominated is Natalie Portman as Jackie. She does a fantastic job. She does the accent that Jackie Kennedy had. She nails it. It's fantastic. It's perfect, I thought. Uh, her acting in this movie is phenomenal. She does a great job of... You know, one minute we see in a scene, she's this strong woman, and she's in charge. She's going to make the decisions. And the next, we'll see her, you know, breaking down because she literally watched her husband die in front of her. her it's, you know, it's perfect the way she does this performance. The perfect acting from her part. Uh, this movie really does a great job of making you feel like you were in the 60s. Uh, the movie actually, in fact, uses real footage of Jackie Kennedy. It kind of just uh, intertwines it in there, and it does a great job of taking footage, uh, the footage with Natalie Portman and making it seem like it is from the 60s. Uh, so it does feel fantastic, very real. Um, I love this story. It's a great story of a strong woman who, once again, will not take crap from no one. She's going to do what she wants to do. No one's going to tell her no. She don't care about the law. She's just going to do what she has to do. And I really love that. Uh, I have to talk about the score for this movie, because from the minute it started, I had chills going up and down my entire body. The score is phenomenal. And it it's haunting. It almost sounds... It probably could work in a horror movie, and it would be perfect. But this movie just makes you... Just from the minute you start, it, it gets to you. And... This movie felt so real, and with how real it felt, and with the score, I felt like I was just invading on Jackie's life. I felt like I was, you know, in the room with her kids, and I felt disgusting sitting in this room with kids, because this isn't the conversation that I should be hearing with her kids. And that is a fantastic positive on this movie's behalf. The fact that it can feel so real and get under my skin like that phenomenal in that aspect um there is you sh it shows the scene of john f kennedy's assassination it's very quick it's about a minute two minutes maybe um it's extremely graphic you see john f kennedy's head explode essentially and jackie having to hold her husband's head together and it's hard to watch it's about two minutes and i didn't feel it was overly violent to be overly violent it just did a great job of just showing you what this woman went through and like i said it i felt disgusting watching it a little bit because it just i was intruding on her life and that it was really hard to watch because of that um there is choices there's essentially like there's an interview that's going on there's a moment where she's talking to the priest there's a moment where she's talking to her kids and couple other things and it's kind of intertwined throughout the movie and it's a little jarring for me because I was confused at where we were at sometimes like it took a second to figure out okay we're back here with the priest and this takes place the day of the funeral and this takes place then and this takes place two weeks after the funeral it's a little confusing that would be my biggest negative for this movie um I also have to say the movie feels long and that might be just part of the fact because it felt so real and I felt so disgusting watching this movie because it felt so real and I was invading someone's life. Uh, it was a little bit of a negative for me and I have to say the movie looks kind of bland. It almost looks like a documentary. I don't feel it's really, it's, it's not a documentary though so I felt it was just a little too bland, a little too gray. And I wasn't a fan of that. In the end, this is a great movie. I'm never watching it again. 
like the other three movies really on my list that are my marathon that I saw these last on Tuesday. It, all hard movies to watch. This one's another hard one to watch. Um, if I had to watch any of these for moving in, I guess I would pick Lion just because there's a little bit of happiness in that movie. This is all depressing. Moonlight was all depressing. Uh, in the end, though, this is a great movie. You should see it. I would give it a 7 out of 10. And if you like this video, guys, hit like, subscribe, comment down below. Sorry, it ends a little depressing. Rest in peace, though, John Hurt. We'll see you next time.